Hi, Hi campers. campers, welcome back to the Choose Leisure Motor Home channel. My name's Dawn. And my name is Mark. And we are your dedicated handover technicians down here at Choose Leisure Motor Homes in Canterbury, Kent. So Dawn, what have we got for the lovely campers today behind us? Oh, so behind us, we are in the showroom today and we are in the Cathargo showroom. And this is one of their prime examples of one of their coach built vehicles. It is a Sea Tourer T145LE. Lovely vehicle on a Mercedes. It's a two litre diesel, 150 brake horsepower motor with an automatic gearbox, which mm. is just lovely, isn't it? Well, the other thing as well, Mark, this is one of their lightweight versions. So it's actually three and a half tons. So you can drive it on any car license. Yeah, this vehicle is a coach built vehicle, which is perfect. And as Dawn said, three and a half tons. It's a good way to get into the Cathargo range. And normally, a quite a heavy vehicle because they're so well built and put together. So to drive that on any vehicle that's got a license is, is fantastic. So we're going to do a quick review, quick walk around. Join us again. So here you find me campers on the passenger side, the near side. Um, just behind the passenger door, we have our filler point for our diesel, as like most vehicles these days. It's got add um, blue, hasn't it? Got the add blue, so it is um, a Euro 6, which is wonderful. Uh, the first locker we come to moving down the side of the van, we do have our water pump in there, nicely caged, which is protected. Um, we've got a nice uh, lithium battery in here as well. 80 amp hours, lovely. 80 amp hours, and it's got a shutdown as well. So if you if you are going to be leaving the vehicle for any length of time, you can actually shut the battery off. So, the battery. So there's no parasitic drain. Has it got some kind of like, does that act as um Underfloor heating under there as well, doesn't it? Absolutely, yeah, because you've got all the heating vents that run through the bottom of the van here and in that void, that storage area, so it does actually, in effect, work as underfloor heating, well, although it's not underfloor heating as such. Um, the gas locker is the next one along, and you've got plenty of space in there for two great big 13k bottles, or you, we've got the auto exchange over as well, so it would change from bottle to bottle without any interruption on the gas supply, having both bottles open. But yeah, great size, again, bit of crash protection regulator. And that would be brilliant for Gaslow as well if you wanted the refillable gas system. It would be really easy to install. Absolutely, uh, yeah, and then you can just go away for months and months and months. It would be perfect. Moving down the van, we have our fresh water fill-up one. So that's how you get your fresh water in. So your 150 litre fresh water tank. Perfect. What size is the uh, waist on this one, Dolly? Uh, the waist on this particular vehicle is 140 litres, so okay. it's near enough light for light. Yeah, because cool, sometimes they're a little bit smaller, aren't they? But yeah. that's, that's great. 150 fresh, 140 waist. Massive, massive, great big garage. Yeah, look at that. Which you can get a scooter in. The, the, the Cathargas are known for having these deep garages. You can just take a scooter with you. you know? Yeah. One of these little electric scooters. Uh, would be all the tie downs yeah. along here as well. You've got your box of tricks with a brand new Cathargo. You get a box that's got all your bits all and bobs in, all, all the accessories that come with. So, first aid kit, emergency lighting, all those kind of things. Yeah, that's all great. And again, what I like about these Cathargos, you get these really sturdy metal locks. Love them. Just yeah. what, a, what a clean, perfect looking van. So, here we are, campers, on the rear of the vehicle. Look at that Cathargo Sea Tour. <laughs> Does what it says on the tin. Got a lovely Mercedes badge there. Everyone knows gone. what you're driving, don't they? Yeah, it's super, isn't it? We've got rear view camera, the high uh, visibility brake light as well. These lovely stylish designs, lovely clean, simple design. Love them. Good looking man. So here we are again, campers, on the driver's side in the United Kingdom, the offside. So open up the garage. This fan comes with a lovely light that you can individually turn on and off should you want to. All your electrics are situated on the offside inside the garage behind a really good mesh. So that's protecting it. If, you, if you've got deck chairs or anything sort of more hard stored in the van, then you can protect it with that. Uh, we have a 12 volt um, fuses, our RCD trip unit, and of course all our smart chargers. What's also nice about that is underneath that really bright light, so you're not going to have to try and, you know, if you're trying to change fuses or anything like that, you're not trying to, you know, balance a head torch or anything like that. It's all well lit. Absolutely. And as and as we know, Dawn, whenever you're out camping, it's always middle of the night, isn't it? You come back, 
and there's an issue. That's something, yeah, when you come back from the pub. Not that we have any judgment, but you know, normally three o'clock in the morning when someone else has tripped out your campsite because they've had a few vinos, maybe. Exactly, yeah, and then you, you get strutting around in the dark. But moving down from the garage door, we have our uh, mains input there, um, and a good height as well. It's not, you know, kind of like right down the bottom of the van. Great, I like that. With the cassette of joy, mm. we do have the oh, SOG system, lovely, uh, which is venting all the time. So whenever you open the blade on the bottom of the loo, a fan blows, vents out, and you've basically got like a composting toilet almost. There's no need for any extra chemicals, which is um, good. Yeah. Um, that's a good point. Vent for the boiler, just takes oxygen around the side, blows out the exhaust in the middle, and the vent for our fridge. Um, occasionally we do recommend just pop up the clips, take the vent cover off and just have it particular hoover out. Yeah, just anything to clog it up, bugs or anything yeah. like that. Just makes it work more efficiently. And then we've got loads more storage down here just below. Oh, like a little wet locker. Yep, yeah. again, for wet boots, leads, yeah. Yeah, Fantastic. hoses, chocks, anything you don't want to kind of take inside and get grubby. And conveniently placed right next to the habitation door, which is good. Also very handy. Nice size, nice wide. Habitation door. Got a and nice then big bright awning light and an electric step. Exactly. Yeah, all good. And then your cab door. Your driver's is, side of the cab. Yeah, which is great. Fabulous. <laughs> Marvellous. <laughs> On the habitation door. Campers. Let's go in. Look at this. Luxury. Before your very eyes. Nice. nice electric step to help you up into the van. And what I like about these vans as well, uh, conveniently placed in the underfloor locker, not only do you get a massive amount of storage there for a nice big wine box but we've got some of our drains here we've got our boiler drain tap drain and the waste drain um, for our waste tank which is that's great isn't it yes that's nice and conveniently located and you can still yeah like you said you've got a nice deep pocket there to store lots of things of storage, got a yeah. sticker on the door to tell you which it one is, does what yeah which is works really really well nice secure latches yeah and again nice strong metal catches got this lovely flooring it's wooden floor mm. um, not a vinyl floor but it's actually like a proper nice made wooden floor i'll tell you what it's very impressive when you first kind of come in it's very very lovely i actually yeah. like the cream interior They're nice really and good. bright and it's just it's just i think it's just really nicely put together i mean look at this look at the thickness of that floor there i mean it's just it's fantastic and you've got so how deep stock. is that locker then how how many arm lengths well you get? I'm, I'm, I'm saying about? i'm saying Oh, that's a third of an arm. A third a of an third arm. A third of an arm in the floor. So that's 20 odd mil, isn't it? 22 <laughs> millimetres, which is perfect for storage. Uh, moving down, there's another one of these little lockers in the floor. And while I'm concentrating on the floor, oh, okay. uh, we've got tanks. Your, yeah, got your access points to the tanks. You've got your, your waste tank there, your freshwater tank there, and then the drain to drain down your freshwater tank. So, so. with that, it's actually got a travel drain on it. If you look at the sticker, if you give it half a turn yeah. or three quarters of a turn, it drains it down for your travelling water of 20%, 20 litres. Um, or you can open up the drain and drain the whole thing for you. Do a full drain. I always like that when you get travel drains because it makes it easier for your travelling water so you're not carrying too much excess weight. Absolutely. And I would, we, you know, we all suggest as well travel with some water on board yeah. because you haven't got a separate tank to flush the toilet. Yeah. So when you are using the loo, you, you want to carry a bit of water with you. you Wash your hands and have a cup of tea and you know a flush comfort the break. Comfort one, break. One likes a comfort break. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Fantastic. I see you've made yourself comfortable then. I have. Here I am luxuriating in luxury in the Mercedes cab, which I find very Star Wars, very Darth Vader. Look at that. It's brilliant. I love all these dials. Yeah, that's really, just nice. really modern design. And you've got the lovely wooden Cathargo logo. I was just looking at that. Yes, yeah, beautiful, isn't it? They look great. Don't they? And these seats are so comfy. They're really good. Um, you've got a rotating table. Oh, so the 360 can, yeah, table. So, 360 so you can table. actually. Yeah, that's Push nice, isn't it? Around, so it is. And it will drop down. It will make it. Uh, a third bed here, so we can lift okay. him up and drop him down. And then we've got the infield cushions that will then sit on top of yep. the table. We saw that in the garage. Bed. Yeah, so that, and you can swing him out of the way as well. Gives you that little a bit of room to move around. Got these overhead cupboards, they're which nice. are great. Again, they're not the deepest I've seen on Cathargo's, but they are a third of an arm dawn, third, third of an arm. arm, which is wonderful. And this lovely gloss 
finish on all yeah, of these. Yeah, it's really bright and light and airy in here. You've got nice lots of natural light coming through these two skylights at the top as well. Two roof fences, well, three roof fences in the first half. Yeah. You know, you've got two big ones here, a smaller one above the kitchen. I'm just going to go yeah, down you get a good good look at it all. Yeah, that lovely little return there on that seat is, you know, you can really sort of just settle back into that and enjoy yeah, that, can't you? You can great. indeed. And you have this kind of little seat over this side as well, a little dinky yeah. kind of seat. A nice little seat. So it actually yeah. travels for and sleeps. This is an option for the dinette, which is uh, to have the third bed. You can also get this vehicle from the factory where it has a drop down bed and then it becomes mm. for travel, yeah. for sleep. Yeah, no, which, which actually, if you've got a family, would be great, wouldn't it? But, you know, if you've got this kind of size van, it's not a massively long van. No. Um, two of you really comfortably in this would be right wonderful, wouldn't it? And if you do have a rail, you've got the, you've got the third bed in the front here. You've got, got the emergency bed. <laughs> the emergency rail bed. And you've got the, uh, all the control panels above the head door, like most uh, vehicles, most uh, motorhomes and camper vans have got them up there. So you've got the nice Truma, Truma heating. Yep. Um, you have the Cathargo control panel there and a heated regulator for gas bowls. Yeah. And it's all conveniently put underneath. Hidden so away. Hidden away. Yeah, so if you don't want the lights on and disturbing you. Yeah, that's really nice. Show us the Space Age TV then, Mark. Well, I know I, you're dying to. I do like this. Right next to the habitation door, sort of placed uh, sort of vertically at the moment, but actually what you want to do is get it out and get yeah. it yeah. horizontal. So I didn't a... realise that was a TV, I thought it was a cupboard. Yeah, no, you just push the lever in, you swing them out like that. There's another little catch just here, and then you can actually oh, spin wow, look at that. the TV around. That's fantastic. Marvelous. Yeah. And then if you're sitting here in the lounge... Great place, them... good, great way of storing that though. Nice size, nice big TV, but by yeah. storing it vertically rather than horizontally. What a space saving great idea that is. It's wonderful, isn't it? And then to put it back, you've got the two levers here, just spinning back around like that, and then sliding back into place, and you'll hear it clicking, and that's now securely locked in position. Hey! Once again, you find me in my natural habitat, the kitchen door. <laughs> um, yeah, look at this, even before I get to the, the, the kitchen part, um, the fridge, look at that campers. You've got a double opening uh, freezer cabinet, so that will open both sides as well. That's as indeed lovely, isn't that? Ice cubes? does this Dometic 133, count them, 133 litre fridge. Very nice. Great, it's nice it? it opens from both directions, and I love the fact that it's big. It's a big fridge for a, a decent size vehicle. I don't like it when they give you these. One thing I don't fridges. like about this fridge, it's not near enough to the bed, so I can't grab a cold on <laughs> while I'm lounging. But other than that, it's a small point. It might be more of a personal <laughs> point. Yeah, but then over here, look at this. We've got a lovely three burner hob, which is perfect with an um, ignition button there as well. Um, the sink, great size sink. Um, with this lovely uh, two-piece jigsaw. I do like the two-piece jigsaw that we have and a cutting board as well. I, I like the fact that the hole is well situated when the jigsaw goes back in place. So that if you uh, bend that swan neck round yeah. when you're travelling, it drips down the hole. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's great. great. You're not going to be getting drips all over. It's simple things in life, Mark. It is, it does make life easy, doesn't it? And then uh, the, the little cupboard underneath is where we find our isolation taps oh, yeah. for our appliances, our gas isolation taps for our appliances. We don't really need to use them unless there's an emergency because you isolate the bottles, but yeah, it's good but to know where they are. White, gloss and wooden, you know, uh, combination, which is all around the van. And soft clothes on everything. Soft clothes as well. Fitford grill and oven, which is just ideal size, isn't it? Just yeah. to, we don't want to be... Uh, doing too nice. much cake. I don't go. I don't go on holiday to cook very much, but it is nice to have the option that you can cook, yeah, cook some of these if you want to. It's nice snacks, isn't it, during the day? It's great. We've got a little bin. bins here and some more storage all underneath the oven, and we've got all these lovely cupboards above. Look at that door. That's a good half an arm. Good mm -hmm. half an arm. We like a good deep cupboard. Oh, and don't forget to go in that middle cupboard there, Marky, because mm -hmm. I know what's in there. God. Oh, it's that okay. coffee maker. The coffee maker, fantastic. I mean, who doesn't want a nice, nice. cup of proper coffee when they're on holiday? Yeah, and the fact that you've got one yeah, in a great, camper. Isn't it? It's great, isn't it? <laughs> you just put your cup there, water in the back, boom, boom, job done. Starts the day, doesn't it? It's brilliant. I really love it. Nice, well equipped kitchen. More ventilation above as well, so you've got a really nice heavy uh, skylight as well, again with the uh, blackout and uh, fly screens. Yeah, what a really nice, well appointed kitchen.
Ta da! Here you find me in the washroom dump. Look at this! What a beautifully appointed washroom this is. All these mirrors give you that effect of even more room, even more space. It's great. And there's quite a bit of storage behind there. That's a good hand. That's a good hand up there, which I do like. That's quite nice as well, because that would be kind of dead useless space otherwise. Yeah, isn't that it? corner. Used. Great. You've got a mains plug underneath there. If you're, if you're a gentleman you're shaving, it's, it's great. Um, the, the loose seat will spin so you can get yourself in a, in a really good. Um, Position, comfortable position, storage underneath. Uh, this is where you leave your holes. And we do like a little, we really fold it in a triangle, don't we, don't we? we like to, we, this is luxury, this is opulence. We like to have a little triangle fold on our loo roll. Korean top here, which I do like as well. And I like okay, the um, I like the tap, the swan neck tap, and then yeah. the little kind of dispenser. matching um, dispenser and, yeah. and toothbrush holders. Yeah, quite it's quite nice. 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 nice little finishing touches. And this little mirror to kind of just uh, addition there, just this wonderful. Light switches are here. You can lock yourself in. And and yes, you've got your changing room. room. Yeah, it's great. Um, and, and then open them up and you go right the way back into the van, which is great. Decent sized shower. Separate yeah. shower, which is nice. And you can actually see I was standing on a little step. Yeah. So that's quite And nice above we've got a hanging rail there as well, so any wet clobber. If you've been out walking one yeah. of the uh, Scottish Munros and you come back slightly moist, you can just dry all your bits and pieces out there. Great. So here I am, campers, luxuriating in this wonderful size flat bed here. You know, you can have the two singles like this. You can join us. I'll pull this forward in a moment. You can access oh, wow, your nice. storage here. You've got really good hanging rail there, or you can access it through the through the front door as well there, and, and, and drop him down, whichever you prefer. Really deep. You got all the extra cushions there that come with the cathargo. Of course, we get our fitted bed sheets and everything else with oh, yeah. the cathargos. There's a little lever. Just I don't know if you can see it. Just next to this handle here, so I can slide that out. Oh yeah, perfect. And if you really want a much bigger bed, you want a big old double bed. You've got the extra cushion in the middle. Oh, wow. so that's, 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 that's just a massive, yeah. Yeah. A massive side. That's just really good. You've got all these lovely cabinets above, so they give you extra storage, and you've got a yeah. nice big skylight. I mean, it, I love, I, just, I, I absolutely love laying in bed and then watching the stars in, yeah, 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 stargazing. Yeah, yeah. That, that gives wonderful. you the perfect opportunity from that. And again, this lovely gloss cabinetry all the way around. Mm. That lovely little mirror there with the that kind of it gives, gives you, you that, that illusion of more, more space, space again as well yeah it just does it just, it's a clever it's a well-known uh, you know feature and design you know using mirrors to give you light and space but how does that work you can see the front of the van it looks like the van goes on forever mm. it, it's just it, it's just really nice so yeah cathargo absolute winners of luxury well campers you find us in the back of this lovely cathargo sea tour Oh, what do we think? Oh, in conclusion, what do I think? Oh, I love it. It's, it's really, good, it? really, really, really pretty. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? You've got a Mercedes chassis. You've got the Cathargo build on the back. It, what, it's a perfect combination, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, out of all the Cathargo range, okay, and now A-class vehicles are not for everyone. No. I know they've got the huge, yeah. great big panoramics, like windscreens, which are great for vistas and things like that. But if you're if you're actually driving one, then they, you can kind of feel like you're in a goldfish bowl, yeah. can't you? And if you're not used to it, a bit oppressive sometimes, you know, kind of big like a bus. Yeah, you, it kind of works the opposite way. Yeah. Now, I get that that's not for everyone, but the fact that this is coach built, yeah. the fact that it's on a Mercedes chassis and it's got the Cathargo luxury, yeah. It is three and a half ton. You can drive this on a standard car license yeah. in the UK. Great way to get into the Cathargo uh, home, you know, by getting one of these on any license. It's yeah, great, isn't it? everything's just really, it's got the, it just got that je ne sais quoi. It's got that kind of really yeah. lovely finishing touches. From, lovely gloss cabinets. Yeah, and the wood effects on the, on the seats. And then yeah. you've got these lovely kind of, this kind of um, soft, beautiful gorgeous. material. Yeah, yeah um, that's good, isn't it? You've got the option where you can use your blinds in the front cab or you can use these nice lovely the curtains, curtains. You, yeah. or you can use both. But even the curtains behind me, the neck curtains are functional. They're not just aesthetics. They yeah. actually work. They actually so, do something, which is quite nice. The material on the ceiling is kind of like a climate control material, so mm. it doesn't get too moist or damp in the air. They, they, they just think of everything cathartic. It also really um, takes out the echoiness, so yeah, it makes yeah. it more homely. Yeah. Um, and oh, no, one... no, no, no. <laughs>
<laughs> and one thing that I did put, I, I did pick up on, and I noticed it because I was behind the camera more today, um, is that the floor is all one level, which yeah. is really nice. I mean, if you are um, like myself, I mean, I was walking backwards and I kept looking at, thinking I was going to go over, which would have been great for the blooper yeah. reel. <laughs> Probably not quite so much for my head or you know my yeah, bottom. Exactly. Or, yeah, yeah. But um, it is one level all the way through. There's no yeah. trip point, no pinch points particularly on this van either. Straight through into the bedroom you got the bathroom or washroom on the way through as mm. well greatly appointed kitchen. which you can separate off which is also nice yeah, um I, I like uh, the other thing that i like is that you don't compromise on storage with uh necessity so you're not you losing your storage to the boiler yeah. and to the boiler drains yeah. and the uh, the tank drains Thanks and all amazing. the electrics and things like that they've got a specific place which is easily accessible but you're or, not losing your storage for or, it. Or clever, even like that TV, you know, oh, that was really cool. it's you know, held vertically, you drop it out and then spin it. You know, yeah, that was really cool. It, yeah. I thought that was a cabinet. Yeah. I didn't realise it was a TV to oh, start off yeah, with. Yeah, yeah. And, the, and the coffee pot, so it's like yeah. this little bits of luxury yeah. everywhere you go. Yeah, it's it's just, just really well thought out. No, we do like Cathago. They are, they are a really great quality. Uh, we are a main dealer. Uh, for Cathargo down mm. here at Choose Leisure and Motorhomes in, in Canterbury, Kent. Yep, um, the sales guys, uh, these these um, Cathargos in this particular model uh, comes with different options. Yeah. I mean, this one comes with a little travel bed because the dinette converts, but you can get it as a four berth with the option of a drop down bed. So if you're willing to wait for it from the actual Cathargo mm. um you can, factory, specify you, you, can spe yeah. you can specify different yeah. options mm -hmm. um but obviously we do have other vehicles in the cathargo range we have these in the showroom at the moment so yeah. why not pop down and see us and yeah. have a look for yourself check out the website and see what we've got in stock on the website at www.chooselizzle.co.uk yeah don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel so you can keep up with us two wallies and yes. the vehicles we're going to show and you the next. nonsense that we talk <laughs> yeah and so yeah do enjoy i hope you've enjoyed this video do like and subscribe um and until next time carry, carry on, on camping, camping.